I'm sorry, but you got to listen to this. So you may not know what you're looking at, but you're looking at a historical marker marking the place where Emmett Till's body was found after his brutal murder. Since the Emmett Till Memorial Commission placed this marker in 2007, it has either been ripped from the ground, vandalized, or, as you can see, it has become a cultural thing that the people down in muddy Mississippi and the surrounding areas take the time to deface, destroy, or otherwise disrespect this marker. First, if you're following me and not Whitney, I will tag her. You should follow her. I learn a lot from her channel. I would think that it goes without saying, but apparently it does not. To deface the marker of a place where a child's body was found after he was brutally murdered is grotesque and uncivilized. The marker is a symbol and defacing it is a symbolic action, but what does that action represent if not a threat of violence or a celebration of the brutal murder of a 14-year-old. There was a minute after the election of Barack Obama that we collectively could deceive ourselves into believing that we lived in a post-racial society. I think it is not too large of a leap to make to say that Donald Trump broke that perception and shined light on the fact that we live in a society that still contains grotesque levels of racial resentment. And while it might be quite easy to say those people doing that horrible thing have nothing to do with me, I would never do anything like that. I want to challenge you. With people want to make talking about the racist history of this country illegal. How is that substantively different from defacing the markers of racial trauma in the past? Do you remember this scene from Black Panther 2? You perform civility here. But we know what you whisper in your halls of leadership and in your military facilities. Using the acronym CRT, using suits and ties, or the language of power, House bills, this is a bill banning the 1619 Project in the state of Missouri, might seem different from shooting a sign with a gun in Mississippi, but it is not. It is nothing more than a performance of civility in the halls of power with a grotesque and, yes, deadly effect. A hundred thousand of you watched my previous video about the maternal mortality gap and the fetal birth weight gap. Lives are on the line if it is illegal to talk about it. How are you better than the people shooting a sign in Mississippi? If black Americans are more likely to die at the hands of negligent doctors, to be executed by a negligent justice system, to be killed by police, or to be discriminated against digitally, it's not a fucking post-racial world. Get on the right side.